Okay, so in this tutorial video, I wanted to show you how to add an irregular shape, uh, meaning not a rectangle or a square, for an image into your InDesign document and then have text wrap around that organic image shape. So I'm going to go over to my blank document and I have two pages side by side because I'm going to show you a couple different options. And let's start with the most basic and that is to add a circle. So I'm going to add a circle frame and then I am going to place an image into it. So I'll just grab that image and click open and I'm going to fit it. Now I don't have any text right now so if you already have text you can use that or just do what I'm going to do and go up to type and choose fill with placeholder text. So that gives us some basic text to work with and in order to do a text wrap we need to go to the window menu and open up the text wrap panel. So from here what you're going to do is click on the image that's a part of the text wrap. Now this only works if you have the image and then you have the text near it or on it. So I kind of usually just over, overlap the text and then I click the image and then I'm going to choose instead of this bounding box which is working for rectangles and squares, we're going to choose wrap around object shape. So with a circle this is going to work well because that is still a basic geometric shape. And with that image still selected, you can now come over here and choose to add some spacing, which I highly recommend. Give it a little bit more visual space. And if I hit the W key on my, on my keyboard, you can see that a little bit better because this is just a preview mode. So I'll hit the W key again to come back into the editing mode. And I'm going to show you how to do this with an um, organic shape. So in Photoshop, I found a picture of this jet and you can see that I've isolated it and masked it and then saved it as a ping file, which if you know anything about ping files, it allows you to have this transparency. So when I put the image in there, it's actually, it actually has a transparent background. In order to see this, I'm going to go ahead and just add a colorful background shape and I'm just going to pick something, you know, I don't want it to be too crazy. But there we go, and I'm going to put it in the background, which I just did shift command left bracket. If you're on a PC, shift control left bracket. And now I can come in and add my jet. So I'll go to file place and go to desktop and choose that fighter jet. Now when you place that in there, you can see it doesn't have a background in it. So it looks like it's flying in the sky, which is really cool. So I'm going to do the same thing and add a text box with some dummy text for right now. And then again, click on the photo, wrap it around the shape, and you see that it actually does the square from the original photo, which you can see that it is in fact a square here. They're always gonna be a square. But don't fret, you can still do this by clicking on the image and you're gonna to come to the contour options. And I actually come here to the wrap too and I usually say how I want it to wrap so there's a lot of different options here. So I just wanna make sure it always wraps only to the right side so I'm gonna choose that. And then the contour options is, you can choose same as clipping but that's gonna give you that rectangle shape um, or like the frame here and you only have the rectangle or circle or polygon frame tools. So those are the only ones that you don't really have to worry about the contour because it finds the shape from the frame. But for this one, let's just make sure I've selected the image again. I'm gonna come down here and do detect edges. So that of course didn't work. So I'm gonna come over here and do alpha channel and that works a little bit better. So now, again, I can click that shape and I can add a little bit of spacing. This would look work a lot better if the jet was a lot bigger to compensate for the size of the text compared to the jet. But now again, if I hit W, you can see that it is wrapping around that. So I wanted to show you that, yes, you can do a ping with a transparent background, but you actually can do this with a shape that has a background. So in here, in the Photoshop um, cello that I have here, you can see that I could have saved it as a transparent background, but I wanted to show you that when you save it as a JPEG, which is gonna give you a smaller file size, but JPEGs automatically add a white background if you have transparency. So this is still gonna work for that, and that's because it will do that detect out or detect edges. So I'm gonna come up here and choose File Place, and we're gonna put the cello, and I choose the JPEG one, which actually is a white background, which is why I added this color in the back so you can see it. So 
once again, we're going to come and grab our placeholder text, add the placeholder text, and then click on the image and choose the wrap to shape. So again, it's wrapping to the original rectangle and I just want it to do the right side right now. But again, for the type, we, you can choose detect edges and it tries to find those edges. So once again, I can start adding some space so we can see the space that it's adding with the detect edges. It's easier to do this obviously if you have a neutral background because you can see it's trying to find the shape so it's look, looking for those pixel, pixels. If it had stuff in the background, this, I actually haven't tried that so I would assume it wouldn't work but you never know, you should try it and see. So again, if we hit W, we can see what that looks like, which obviously it looks dumb with this color, so I'll just delete that, and now you can see that it has wrapped around this organic shape.